go ahead and get started uh, with the uh, Lyceum Lecture. So this was sort of a cool idea. I think it was uh, Hutch's idea that came out of the Magisters to give you guys something to talk about or something to learn about during the long hurricane, as you know. Um, mine is called Why Light is Lit because I taught uh, waves and optics here for seven years, like the sophomore physics class. And I taught intro e &M for seven years. So I've covered those a lot, so I had a lot of demos and silliness built up about light. So I figured I would do it all in one lecture. I've never done this many demos in one lecture. Okay, they're not all gonna work, okay? This is definitely a personal record. Um, another weird thing we're gonna do is uh, throughout the lecture, we're gonna be talking about the nature of light. Is it a particle or a wave? So this is poles everywhere, so you can be voting as you go. Is it a particle or is it a wave? This will leave this up the whole time. If you vote a second time, you change your vote, so you can update your vote if I convince you one way or the other. It looks like right now we got a little bit more people preferring wave to particle. Interesting choice. Okay, so we're going to start a little bit with just stories about uh, the ancient Greeks and what they thought about light. I can't really demo it because it's all wrong, and I can't tell you the physics of it because it's all ridiculous. But some of it is kind of entertaining and sort of sets the stage uh, for what we're going to talk about. So here we go. So. Uh, one of the first ideas about what light is, is uh, Empedocles, right? going back to the Greeks. Um, I think before Empedocles, people knew there was something like light out there, right? The sun was hard to look at, and then at night the sun went away and it was dark. But if you light a campfire, suddenly you could see again, and there were shadows. I mean, there was something out there that was letting you see. So there's some concept of light before Empedocles. But Empedocles is trying to explain it, and he says we can see because Aphrodite put a fire in our eyes, and light streams out of our eyes and it touches things. So light was supposed to be kind of like your sense of touch, or sight was a sense of touch using something out of your eyes. And people immediately said, the Greek chorus is like, well then why can't we see at night? Right, so Empedocles is kind of like, uh... okay, one year later, uh, we can see, because Aphrodite put a fire in our eyes, light streams out of our eyes, touches things, but it has to interact with light from the sun. So there you go, all right, it's all things, right? So now the sun has to be involved, but it's still, uh, light coming out of our eyes, according to Empedocles. It took 100 years uh, for Aristotle to say, Aristotle, who actually founded the Lyceum School, by the way, so there's the tie. Uh, Aristotle said, dude, no, we don't see anything, nothing comes out of our eyes, okay? We see because light comes off of objects to our eye, so our eye receives the light. And then he said something kind of weird, our eye takes the form of the object. He's like, if you see an orange, your eye turns into an orange. Which sounds kind of stupid, but if you think about it, you do get an image projected on your retina of an actual orange. So in a teeny sense, that's uh, kind of right. Um, here is another quote by Aristotle about light. It is during our darkest moments that we must face to the light. We must focus to the light. So I know a lot of people think it's really cool to have like a Greek philosopher's tattoo on their abdomen. Unfortunately, this isn't one of those. This was from Aristotle Onassis who was the founder of Olympic Airways in the 60s and married to Jackie Kennedy uh, after Kennedy died. So I don't know if she knows that or not, but let's not tell her or him. I, I don't look at that. Um, 